గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ టు ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ వెల్కమ్ టు లీగల్ మ్యాటర్స్ బాయ్ సాయిబాబు శంకర ఇట్ ఇస్ ఎ హ్యాపీ నోట్ టు అబ్జర్వ్ దట్ విత్ ద కాల్ గివెన్ బై ది ఆనరబుల్ ప్రైమ్ మినిస్టర్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా శ్రీ నరేంద్ర మోడీజీ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ ఎస్ సెలబ్రేటెడ్ ఆగస్ట్ ఫిఫ్టీన్త్ ఇన్ ఎ జాయస్ మూట్ అండ్ ద ట్రై కలర్ ఫ్లాగ్స్ they have been hoisted almost on every house and we have taken photos we have sent it through facebook etc social media platforms some of the students they got a doubt regarding the legal point whether the flag hoisting can be done whether then the flag can rest on each and every house or not because we feel it's a great honor and there were occasions previously when the government did not allow now how this har ghar tiranga has been accepted and what is the rationale what is the legal legality behind it so to clear all these doubts i am making this video supreme court please remember how supreme court recognized the citizens right citizens fundamental right to fly the national flag so there are so many developments in this case of course i want to complete it within 10 months within 10 minutes right indian national flag with its tricolors of saffron in the top white in the middle with ashok chakra and green color right so definitely it is an epitome of embodiment of our culture our national unity particularly national unity we flag we hoisted all the flags on 15th right so how this is happening normally previously there was an act called as prevention of insults to the national honor act and emblems and national flags act is also there this is the act of 1971 and in 2002 the flag code of india it has come into existence so this flag code is only for the dignified representation of the flag in uh, offices or other things like that right <clears throat> please remember in the next video we are going to discuss anyway it is your duty to respect the national flag and to respect the national anthem as per article 51a of the constitution of india these things you know now we'll go to the <coughs> brief facts of the how the flag hoisting or how we are allowed to fly the flag in our houses we are going to study so you are you know this azadi ka amrit mahotsav 75 independence all these things in 1995 please go back to 1995 so Mr Jindal an industrialist he filed a case against the Delhi administration in 1995 you can refer the case as Navin Jindal versus Delhi administration where he requested for a writ of mandamus against the Delhi administration right and allow him to fly the national flag on his factory normally he used to uh, so called hoist the flag morning in his factory in the presence of workers and evening he used to retreat it the retreat the same also but somehow since he is an industrialist since it is a private institution on one occasion the government refused to give permission therefore he has gone to the delhi high court right so delhi high court actually it is clearly stated it has taken it as a right article 19 1a right to freedom of expression yes you can uh, express your uh, national spirit or uh, desha bhakti we call it as yes it is a right fundamental right so therefore please remember <coughs> the vi high court the late delhi high court stated that a person can fly the national flag in a respectful manner these words important in a respectful manner and he could not be prohibited there the first thing has come a person has got a right to fly the national flag right later 
the government did not accept no what is this then uh, it has to be displayed in a dignified manner that to one of the government offices how can a private person fly the national flag in his house then appeal here in india appeal uh, before the honorable supreme court of india please remember this case you can read as here in india versus navin jindal so that is uh, uh, 2014 judgment 2004 i'm sorry 2004 the judgment has come right here the delhi administration or the union they relied on regulation number 13 of the flag code of india which says indian flag should not be used for commercial purposes it is not a commercial purpose they are it is the national spirit but still so basing on the regulation number 13 they have objected or they have prohibited nindal from flying the national flag now please remember the supreme court two judges justice brijesh kumar and uh, sb sinha they held that or they observed that the pride of a person involved in flying the flag is the pride of an indian it is the national spirit the state may not tolerate even the slightest disrespect i will come to the topic disrespect and talk will come so ultimately rule number regulation number 13 of the flag code it is not coming under the purview of law as per article 13 clause 3 of the constitution of india because they are only executive instructions it is not a law this is the fine name this is the observation by honorable supreme court of india yes they allowed mr jindal to fly the national flag in a respectful way and of course in of india depended another on another act that is emblem and names within brackets prevention of uh, improper use act 1950 and penalty this uh, national honor act 1971 actually they regulate they regulate the use of flag right so now what is the insulting to the national flag section 2 of the national honors act 1971 says any disrespect is treated as indignity disrespect like uh, <coughs> burning it or like throwing it or uh, not decent burial all these things come under insult so please remember and that too it should not be actually draped below the navel person below the navel of a person of course you can cover it on the dead bodies so all these regulations are there so ultimately supreme court clearly stated that if you respect the flag yes definitely you can fly the flag but what about the retreat nowadays the liberage is also given suppose if it is a public place we are not able to beat the retreat yes it can fly 24 hours also that is the latest statement by the supreme court whatever it is every person can fly the national flag on his house and with the directions or with the orders given by the honorable prime minister of india now everybody is free to hoist the to fly the flag on his house definitely it is a symbol of unity symbol of national unity it is a symbol of pride of india right. now we we'll discuss the play uh, disrespect yes i already told you if anybody shows how this insult is carried on so during the year 2007 when icc world cup so they got a, they were got the world cup mr sachin tendulkar he cut a tricolor icing cake in this you should not use it for cake should use it for purpose i think uh, in tamil nadu also there is a case uh, state versus d sentil kumar here also they cut a take uh, cake uh, in the shape of the national flag as icing actually the icing, uh, national flag is only covering the same so madras high court cashed the same stating that their intention is they wanted to respect the national emblem national flag and as children they want to cut it and uh, eat it with so that is only icing right and second sharukh khan case sharukh khan he waved uh, the national flag upside down this is very dangerous in telugu film also i think it is ankusham so ms reddy was the uh, he acted as a cm in his car the emblem national emblem is upside down then they corrected also and third is mandira baidi she wore a saree with all the national flags participating in that cricket match it was also taken as a disrespect so please remember 
the constitution article 51a says you have to respect the flag article 19 says yes you have got the right to express your freedom ultimately navin jindal case paved the way for a private a citizen to fly the national flag on his house with due respect please remember that is a reasonable restriction don't forget it so with this i am stopping thank you